praise for life, health, and strength. Thank you, dear God, for food, raiment, and shelter. Thank you for all that we have done and what we will continue to do. Lord, you are a great God. You are an awesome Savior. As we go forward and just uh, reach out to you, dear God, we have different challenges. You know, Father, you know us by name. You know us by nature. You know everything that goes on with us. So all we can do is say praise the Lord, hallelujah, even when it gets difficult. We give you praise, honor, and glory. Father, be with uh, Sister Cynthia, her husband. Be with her, her children, her grandchild, all her co-workers, friends, neighbors. Just bless them and keep them. Cover them with your blood in Jesus' precious name. Continue to be with Sister Judy. Dear Father, be with her children. Dear Father, her grandchildren, her great-grandchild. Just continue to be with Belinda, Linda, Carolyn, Antonio, be with Barbara, be with Richard, be with Anne, the Berean Village, dear Lord. Just continue to be with Antonio. Lord, just bless uh, Western Church also as we do a revival right now. We ask, dear God, that you may come by and that many will come to know who you are. In the name of Jesus, Lord, just bless. See, we'll be with Sister Brown as she moves around town, dear Lord. Just cover her with your blood. Be with the Bradshaw family, the Bedford family. Be with Shireen and her family, dear Father. Be with Elaine and all the other names that she have mentioned. Just cover them with your blood and just bless them. Be with Sister Roglin, Sister Nadine, dear Father. Continue to be with Sister Bogle, Sister Margaret. Just bless them all and cover them with your blood, Sister Mackenzie. Lord, just bless, bless, bless all, yes. Sister Redisha. Just bless all the people who have been on the prayer line at some times and their family members. Continue to be with Sister Patricia, dear Father, in a special way. Lord, she says she is feeling severe pain in her feet or in her, her legs. Lord, do you know what is going on we are asking and begging you to go by and relieve her of that pain dear father lord just continue to cover her and keep her dear lord in the palm of your hands just continue to bless jada also be with our niece just continue to be with our entire family be with uh, millicent dear father lord she was sick but now lord i think she texts me and say i'm feeling better now and I give God the praise for that, dear God. Lord, just cover her with your blood. Be with Sister Lynette, dear God, and just continue to provide for her, dear Father. And the 20 kids that she has, just uh, bless them and keep them, dear Father, and cover them with your blood. Be with Sanchez also in a special way. He is your child, and Lord, he is determined. He's a determined little man. Dear Father, Lord, uh, we have the structure going up for the boy's house or boy's dorm. Dear God, Lord, uh, we are begging you to provide all that is needed. Lord, if each person can buy one iron sheet, Lord, one iron sheet, I have already, you know, by God's grace and God's provision, bought uh, three iron sheets. So if everyone buy one, iron sheet dear lord for ten dollars then we'll get the 40 iron sheets we need to put the roof on but lord you know what to do you know how to do it so we are asking and begging you to just provide be with the matrons be with the soldier and all the kids everybody who is chipping in joshua joshua's cousin who is uh, the designer dear father and the one who is putting up the structure Joshua's father, who gave them a whole tree, dear father, to make the rafters for the roof. Father God, everybody is chipping in because these kids have no parents, and we have to do what we can, dear father, to make sure that they are comfortable. Lord, just cover them with your blood. Be with Kemunta also. Dear Father, be with uh, her, just bless her and keep her parents. Be with Joshua, 
bless him, bless his wife, his parents also. Lord, just cover us all. Be with the Grant family. Be with my beautiful wife, dear Father. Lord, it's a challenge with her right now, but Lord, you know how to work things out, so work it out in your own way. Forgive us of all our sins. Keep us strong in the walls and be with the Bible that we are reading as we transition from Acts, dear Father, and go on over, dear Lord, to Romans. We are asking that you may just be with us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. As we start at Acts chapter 28 and verse 21, you might finish that and go over to Romans 1 and verse 1. Lord, you just be with us in the name of Jesus, Lord. Give me strength to navigate around all these ladies in this house, dear Father, and especially my wife. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mercy. seed of David according to the flesh 
and declared to be the Son of God with power according to the Spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead, by, by whom we have received grace and apostleship. He of for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. And uh, among whom are you also the call of Jesus Christ to be in love, in love of God, called to be saints, raised to you and peace from God our Father. And the Lord Jesus Christ First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all that your faith is spoken of throughout the holy world. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayer, making request if by any means now at length. I, uh, I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come and to praise in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we just uh, finished reading from Acts chapter 20 and 8. We started at verse 21. And we went all the way to verse uh, 31. And then we started at Romans chapter 1. And we started at verse 1. And I will be picking up at verse 11. And it says, For I long to see you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift. To the end you may be established. That is, that I may be comforted together with you by the mutual faith both of you and me. Now I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oft times I purpose to come unto you, but was let hither to that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among other Gentiles. I am debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So as much as in me is I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. I really love Paul. And people might say, why? And it's because he was not scared to preach the gospel to whomever would do what? Listen! to whomever would listen. And uh, he, 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 like he says, he, the Gentiles, if they would listen, I will preach the gospel to them. The barbarians, I will preach the gospel to them. The Greeks, I will preach the gospel to them. And that goes to show what Matthew 28, 19, 20 says. You know, we should spread the gospel to all nations. This is not only for one sect of people. It is for all nations. And Paul is a very good example. One thing I know is that Paul, a matter of fact, would Paul shut up about Jesus? No. No. Everywhere he goes, it doesn't matter the punishment that they put upon him. He was still talking and preaching about Christ. 
he first in in the ending of Acts, the Jews uh, were they listening to him? No, no, they 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 heard him. They heard him. They were puzzled about what he was saying, but they went away sorrowfully, just like the rich young ruler. When Christ came to them, they did not accept Christ. And I'm not saying all the Jews, but many of them did not accept what Paul had to say. Instead, they tried to do what to him? Kill him. They tried to kill him. But I, I am praying that if that ever happened in this world where people are, a matter of fact, it's happening, but if it comes and hit at my door where people are being killed for serving or worshiping God, I want to be among one, among the ones who are so decisive, like Paul, who will be willing to die for the cause of Christ. Was Paul flogged? Was he whipped for the cause of Christ? Was he thrown in prison for the cause of Christ? Yes. Have mercy. So... We have to pray to God right now. And that's why we take time. I mean, the sleep was very sweet this morning. But I still got up. Because I realized that it was important for us to get up and to touch base with Christ. To gain the strength that we need to make sure that we are ready, we are ready <clears throat> to do what God wants us to do in spite of the challenges. We look at Paul and he called himself a servant of who? A servant of God. And that's who we are also. We are servants of God. That means we are going to do what God asks us to do. Praise the Lord. And he said, I am taking the message over there to the Romans. And you know the Romans don't want to have nothing to do with God, per se. But they are God's people. And that's what God asks us to do. To share the gospel with the entire world. What are we doing to fulfill? Oh, glory to God. This order that God has given us. In your little corner, God is expecting you to tell somebody about his goodness. Let us follow through like Paul and do what he did. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sister Brown, are you ready? Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Amen. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Each person, I'm going to have you to, to pray a short prayer. All right. Starting with Sister Patricia. All right. How is it over there in Cameroon, Sister Patricia? All right. Yes. Say a short prayer. Let us pray. Father God, we give you thanks for the day. We give you thanks for everything you are doing and continue to do for us. Father, we thank you for your light and the word. We just listen coming to your holy book. Father, accept the word in the mighty name of Jesus. Drop in our heart and let us be those who continue to do with you by your side. Oh, yes. Yeah. Father, us. And let the word, let your word be always in us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 All right, Millicent, you want to pray a short prayer? All right, second call, Millicent, you want to pray a short prayer? All right, we go on to Joshua. Okay, let us believe and pray. Our kind of spirit, Father, we come unto you. We thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you, Father, for giving uh, an opportunity to listen to your word. Thank you, Father, for the blessings of the day. Oh, so yes. Be blessing to our Holy Father, we pray that you guide us until we finish this day well, Father. Bless my colleagues and the brethren. The brethren trust in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let the words of our mouths, meditation of our hearts, be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Let's go out and tell somebody that Jesus loves them. Praise the Lord. All right. If we cannot preach a sermon, we can tell somebody that Jesus loves them. All right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right, Amen. take care. Send my ten dollar for the sheet. What was that? Send my ten dollar for the sheet. Okay, praise the Lord, Hallelujah! All right, um, okay. as soon as I get it, I will forward it to Sanchez so that he can buy another iron sheet. All right, praise the Lord. Okay. All right, okay. God bless. Lord. Appreciate. All right, love y'all. We need forty. All right, so God is good. All right, all right, praise the Lord.